friends welcome back and thank you for joining me again today and if you're new to my channel hi my name is Deborah and I like everything to do with fashion makeup shopping or lifestyle and today if you clicked on this video then you're obviously just going to see what I purchased again from Salty Crush and now this time I can't blame it on anyone else but me I was introduced to this brand by Katie Francis and so my last door was completely her fault I watched a video and I saw how good the clothes were and I thought I've got to get my hands on some of those clothes but this time it's not her fault. I received an email from Salty Crush. I think it must have been around about end of November when they were having the Cyber Weekend or Black Friday sales. And I thought, oh, I'll just go and have a little look on their website. The items that I'd received previously had been lovely. The colors were gorgeous and the cut was absolutely divine. So I thought, hmm, the problem is curiosity killed the cat, right? So I ended up buying things that I didn't realize I needed until I saw them. So if you're interested in this kind of video, stick around. And what I'll do this time is as I open them, I'll actually show you what they look like on me. So I'll do a bit of a creative editing and I'll open the item and then pop it on so you can see what it looks like and then continue opening the rest of the item. So you can get a rough idea of what the clothes look like on my frame. And I'm six foot four. Four. I wish I was six foot four. No, I'm five foot four, 165 centimeters tall, and I'm around about a size 14. So stick around, and I'll see you shortly when I open them. The first item that I purchased, and what actually got me hooked on making a purchase, was the Chloe Liza top, and I bought it in a size small because the advice was that it's quite oversized, and so I didn't want to have too much fabric on my frame, especially on a top. I prefer to have a, lot, a bit more fabric at the bottom to hide more of the areas that I'm self-conscious in, but for the top I don't have the same problem. And this is so pretty, look at that. It is a loose boho style top and it's a size small. And I decided to get dressed today in my white crop jeans and these sandals that I purchased from Cotton On with my Kmart blue top. And my thinking for wearing this outfit was that I could put these clothes on and they would match the bottom so I'd only have to change the top rather than the bottom as well. But let me get back to these shoes. These sandals are from Cotton On and I love them. Yes, they are a little bit uncomfortable because the strap at the bottom is quite thin, but I think that for the look and the bang that you get for your buck on these, you can't go wrong. And the thing that I like about these sandals is that the rear has got that big cupboard. So if you're a little bit self-conscious about your heels, the back of your feet, you haven't had a chance to go and get a pedicure, these sandals hide them. So let me try this on and show it for you. Right, I'm glad that I bought this in a small because it is quite loose and forgiving and I love the fit of it. It sits quite nicely just about here on my legs. I think it's quite flattering and it goes, as I said, quite well with the white jeans and white sandals. I've come up closer so you can see a little bit better the pattern. The fabric is very lightweight. It is perfect for our summer weather in Melbourne, especially on those really warm days. It is loose, it's not constricting, it doesn't, it doesn't rub anywhere, it doesn't sit on my skin anywhere. So on those really warm days where you don't want to feel anything touching your skin, this is perfect. Of course, on those days, I wouldn't wear them with jeans because that defeats the purpose of being nice and cool. I uh, would wear it with something else. It is a little bit low cut, but, but not too bad that it is risque. I think it's a perfect cut. It sits well on my chest. The pattern is gorgeous. It has this rust orange and blue, and it is just a beautiful floral pattern. I'll insert a picture of sight so you can have a better look. Perhaps this isn't showing as well while I'm on me. But I love the way it's longer at the back and shorter at the front. I find that that's very flattering. And you could wear it a little bit lower, the el just below the elbow and that would sit well as well. But I think I'm just gonna wear it above the elbow like this. And it's not too tight. The elastic is quite firm, but not too tight that it stops the circulation. And I love this item. It is very pretty, I love it. Okay, the next item that I also purchased was the same fabric, I really like the fabric, the blue with the pattern, it looked really pretty. And I purchased the dress, and this is a maxi dress, and it is the Cameron Liza maxi dress. And I bought this, oh, in the next hour. Okay, I 
think that might have been a mistake on my part because I believe this is actually quite large. Let me see. Hopefully, I haven't stuffed up. Oh, I know why I purchased an Excel. I was concerned about the elastic here that sits under the waist. I didn't want to feel like I couldn't breathe in when I wore this dress. So, as you can see, it's got little sleeves, cap sleeves. Let me just go and put it on and start showing you what the dress looks like on me before I start babbling on nonstop. OMG, this dress is perfection. It is lightweight. It is fitted at the waist, but not too fitted that I can't breathe. It has little cap sleeves, so it hides the top of my arms that I'm a little bit self-conscious over. It has pockets, does that has pockets? It is absolutely gorgeous. This dress is so well made. I love the addition of the pockets. I'm a pockets girl. I have to have a dress with pockets and this is perfect. Look at the detailing and on the buttons. All the buttons are little tiny buttons and they have little elastic loops that wrap around the tiny little button and they go all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom of the dress that where it opens up into a very flattering split. I love this dress. I absolutely love it. I love how it's not too tight. This is very flattering on anybody. Even if you have a bit of a bigger chest area than me, I think this will be very flattering because it sits underneath the bust line. So it emphasizes the tiny part of your body. It is a maxi dress, and yes, it is the same fabric as the top that I bought, the peasant top, but it is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Look at all the fabric. This brand does not skimp on fabric. This dress is fabulous. There's enough fabric to go around. It's a perfect size. As I said, I'm size 14 at the moment, and I bought this in an extra large because I was concerned about the fit around the waist, but I could have very easily gone for a large, although, just feeling my shoulders, they're actually sitting in an area that I like. I like shoulder sitting just on the edge of my shoulders rather than a little bit too close to my neckline or falling over the end of my shoulders. This is an actual perfect location. So, but this is divine. I love this dress. And it goes so well, I think, with the white sandals. The third item is another maxi dress. Yes, a maxi dress girl. I do like them. Provided they're a little bit fitted at the top, I think that they're quite flattering on my frame. So this is the Lola Bell maxi dress. Another winner. I have to say I do love blue and white together. This dress has got the blue background with the little blue white drops and I think it is so flattering. Again, it sits quite well on the smallest part of my body in my waist and then it just flows down. So it creates a lovely silhouette and again with the white sandals, I think it's very flattering. I'll come closer so you can see. I love the cap sleeves and they've got this gorgeous little pattern. I hope you can see it. Isn't that just absolutely divine? And again, the front is not too low cut. And I have to say, this I purchased in a size 14. And it is a perfect size 14. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's not tight anywhere. I love the cap sleeves. Oh, I love this dress. Mind you, I love the other dress and I love the top. So, <laughs> I think I did well with this haul. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. This is perfect. This is absolutely divine. The only thing actually, no, it isn't perfect. It's not perfect because it doesn't have pockets. That's my only peeve. <laughs> the dress doesn't have pockets. But, well, I think I can live with that. And the last item that I purchased, and this one you'll know, it's me to a T. When I purchased the other jumper in my last tour, I loved it. I got a chance to wear it because Melbourne weather played nicely. And so I got some lovely winter weather in which to try it on. And this is the same jumper that I purchased last time. It's the Brooklyn Jumper in grey. Oh, this is so soft and cuddly. I cannot wait for winter to put this on. But let me try it on. And I think I can also style it with the white jeans. I think it looks quite smart uh, with this coloring. Oh yes, I love this jumper. I even like the way it looks on my white jeans and heels. I think you could probably get away with wearing this 
in the autumn in Melbourne where it gets a little bit cooler and you can still wear sandals and white jeans. Otherwise, even in winter with maybe some booties or runners. I love this look. I love this jumper. High at the front and the low at the back and the side cuts. The wool is so soft, cuddly. The colour is just a gorgeous silvery grey colour with a hint of blue, I think. I hope this comes through in the video. It is divine. Do you see how it's rounded? I think that actually flatters the shape where it's a little bit rounded at the front and not just straight across. I have to say, those four items are absolutely divine. I can't wait to wear them. Other in summer, I can't wait to wear them. Both the dresses, the top and the jumper, I think are absolutely gorgeous. I picked very, I think I picked really well, or I think the brand is just an easy brand to buy from. Now I'm not affiliated with them, but I have discovered it through another content creator here on YouTube, Katie Francis. And I have to say, thank you, Katie, for introducing me to this brand. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, if you had a favorite, and also let me know whether you've actually purchased from this brand. And if, and if you have, what do you think of it? Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you watching my videos and spending your precious time with me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye. And by the way, did you know that I'm on Instagram? I've made a commitment to myself this year that I will post something every day on Instagram. It is challenging, but I'm committed to this. So come along and show me some love over there as well. Bye.